But next up is... Well, that. <laughs> Platinum was so great! I bet Hot Gold and Soul Silver will at least be similar to that. Welp. I think Hot Gold and Soul Silver are really interesting cases of Pokemon games. A ton of people told me how great this, these games are and how they're the greatest remake ever. So I was excited and, well, it was definitely a game. Let's start small. First, can we maybe stop the Chikorita hate? I get that it isn't the best starter, but people act like it automa automatically makes you lose every battle. For me, it did the opposite. Meganium helped me a ton, and I thought it was a great asset. Maybe I just had a great gaming chair, I don't know. Now let's talk about the gyms. I think all the gyms, without exception, are amazing. Here are some examples. Whitney not giving you the gym badge because she is a sore loser is a really cool idea. Jasmine needing medicine for her Pokemon for your battle hair is also great. And the fact that you can almost instantly battle hair is really cool too. Or that you need to turn off the water supply so that Chuck finally notices you. And that Claire thinks you're a bad trainer and therefore doesn't want to give you the gym badge is also really creative. I think you get my point. Also, why is everyone saying that Whitney is so hard? She isn't easy, yes, but so is every single gym leader battle in this game, so Whitney isn't special. And now, the rival, Silver. Silver is a really cool idea for a rival. Someone who seems like a jerk and even steals his starter Pokemon sounds really interesting. And I also think his battles are fun. But the way he doesn't really have much importance in the story is just... Eh. Like, yes, he appears sometimes with Team Rocket and pretends like he wants to help you, but he at the end really doesn't. His only connection really is that Giovanni is his father, but you only get that information doing something you can't even access as of now. He at least is a neat character, to be fair, but he definitely isn't a great rival. He's just fine. He doesn't really have an ending point, unfortunately, which I think is just kind of sad. He kind of has, but it kind of just is thrown away, in my opinion. The Professor is also kind of weird. For some reason, Oak and Elm seem like they should be important characters, but they really are not, and just appear sometimes like Marvel cameos. And the other protagonist is also very similar. They don't add anything to the story, but I will not call them bad, just boring unfortunately. Now the Elite Four. And they are very forgettable. They are not bad, but the fights were really easy and just straight up boring. Lance, however, is an interesting case. Because he has three fucking Dragonites. And almost his entire team can be swept with ice type moves. And I can confirm that because I used the shiny Gyarados, which knows Ice-type moves. The fight was still interesting, at least, but I just think it was really weird because those Dragonites aren't even supposed to evolve, by the way. They are very underleveled. Also, talking about that, the level curve is also really weird. Whenever I think of it, it seems really absurd. But, to be honest, I never really had a problem while playing. Yes, it is really obvious with people like Red. But other than that, it was fine, in my opinion. Also, I just want to talk about how many Pokemon are locked behind the post-game. Some Pokemon are only found in late-game areas, or because an item is needed to evolve another Pokemon, and that item is only found in the late-game area. For my case, that wasn't bad, yes, but I still think it is weird and just kind of eh once more. And the post-game. Well, it was good. I hear so many people say how great the postgame is, and you know what? Well, they are right, I have the feeling people do not notice at what cost that great postgame comes. The main story is really short and boring. They needed a great postgame, otherwise this game itself would have been so much worse. Yes, the postgame is fun, but I think if it wasn't, this entire game would have probably been just a snooze fest. <laughs> but even now, the postgame doesn't even really have a story. It just has some things you can do, like beat 8 gym leaders again, and it has very little story. It still is good, and definitely better than the post-game of a lot of other Pokemon games. God, it's just an ordinary Krabby- OH MY GOODNESS! And, and I'm pretty sure that's actually it. Yeah.
There isn't really anything else I can talk about. Oh, hey, Nave. You forgot about Team Rocket. Fuck! Welp, let's start with ho and Lugia before Team Rocket. Despite Lugia and ho -Oh being the main legendaries, they are greater side characters than the professors. Not only did they only appear at the end of the main story, which also was literally almost non-existent, but they were generally really underwhelming. Yes, their female music was great and a banger, but the story and importance in the story just really lacks. And I think it could have been done really well. ho and Lugia are so interesting and you can do so much with them, but just nothing was done sadly. I do not think it was handled bad or horrible, but I think if I had to compare it, it is similar to Cernia's and Evil Talon X and Y. They seemed interesting and sometimes were mentioned in the story, but in the end they were just underused. But to be honest, even Zhenya's and Evil Tal were much more story important than ho -Oh and Lugia. And Team Rocket? Well, I can safely say that their representation in this game is the worst ever. Not even compared to how they were in Gen 1. No. The worst villain team ever in Pokemon. Not only did they basically do absolutely nothing, but their final battle was the worst final battle I have ever fought. Not the worst battle in a Pokemon game. No. The worst final battle in any game. And the new members were so forgettable. I actually had to look up their names and just look at that pathetic team. Yes, they did take over in City, but it only lasted for a few moments and therefore wasn't really threatening. And spoiler warning for the Let's Go games, they were handled a lot better in the Let's Go games than here. And that is saying something. And the story in this game is just non-existent. Yes, sometimes there are some small things happening, but on a big scale, you have more luck finding a story in an empty book. And of course, I have to talk about the one big fight. Red. In my opinion, this was a really cool fight. The build up to the fight was really cool and just so intense. Not only is his theme really intense and such a vibe, but the fight is an amazing battle. His team is highly overleveled, yes, but the fight itself was in my opinion really great and still fair. He was really the highlight of this entire game, which is a shame with how much potential there was in this game, in my opinion. I think it doesn't take a lot to say that I really don't love this game. However, I understand why so many people love Heart Gold and Soul Silver. These games are packed with content. Like, this game has so many features, it's actually insane. And I wanna admit, this was one of the only games where I actually completed the post game. Because, I'm gonna be honest, the post game is fun. I do also understand that nostalgia is still a really big factor when you actually want to talk about this game. This game has probably been so important for so many children back then that I get when people like it. But I just have to be honest and say that while yes, I used to be one of these people, I don't love this game anymore and I'm kind of immune to nostalgia if I'm gonna be honest and I think this definitely shows unfortunately. Overall, I think Heart Gold and Soul Silver are good games, and definitely great remakes. A lot of people said that in the Diamond and Pearl video that Gold and Silver were the worst Pokemon games. Well, I never was able to play them, if it is true, I think this is a great step up. But if you personally ask me, Platinum was overall a better game. I think I'm being fair in giving Heart Gold and Soul Silver a nice 7.3 out of 10. Good games with some wasted potential. Two good games in a row. That's actually insane. Well, let's make that free. Рис, мистер Бист, ес трис. Посмотри вниз, там мистер Бист, каратист, мистер Бист, юрист, мистер Бист.